One of my favorite treats, even from early childhood, has been peanut butter. I can remember taking a tablespoon and trying to make one tablespoon last for as long as I could by eating little bits on the end of a toothpick. As an old man, I continue to love peanut butter and I've grown fond of making my own. I was amazed to find how easy it is and how much better you can make your own than some of the things that you can buy from so-called homemade peanut butter in co-ops and other places. At least you can make it more to your own taste. I happen to like both smooth and crunchy, so I like my peanut butter to be primarily smooth, but to have some crunch added. Not feel that the whole thing is crunchy, and I don't like to open a jar of peanut butter and find a whole lot of oil on top of it either, and then hard peanut butter down below. So I think I've found a way finally to do that, and I'll try to show you in this video. First, you begin by getting your ingredients out. And if you look at the recipe, they're really, really quite simple. It's already in place and, and my portion's done because I don't trust my short-term memory. And then I uh, take aside a small portion of peanuts, as you see here, and save those for the end to be the crunch. Uh, I'm working with 15 ounces of unsalted peanuts. I put the ingredients into the processor. I put everything in there at the beginning except the oil. And when I start the food processor, I begin to think I maybe have done something wrong because it does just look like it's never going to be anything like peanut butter. And I don't pulse it in jabs. I leave the pulse on until the peanuts are all crunched into a huge thick mass. And then I stop it and get my oil ready and begin to pour it slowly into this mass. And then I let that churn, still looks like it's going to remain chunky forever and lumpy. And, but in time, it begins to smooth. It's absolutely amazing. Then I'd say also important, keep adding the oil to the mix. And I always go two minutes beyond what I think has already been enough to have it smoothed so that there's nothing even grainy about it at all. It's just very smooth, and I stop. I pour into the mix the crunch that I have saved. and take out the blade because I don't want to hurt myself. Take it out first after I remove the container and take all of the peanut butter that's on the blade carefully into a jar and then pour the other into a jar. And that's it, voila. It, I don't uh, enjoy uh, eating it and when I first make it because it really does require time to be in the refrigerator and thicken and best at least a couple of hours later. And the best time is the next morning and all the mornings you can make it last if you eat it with toothpicks. <laughs> and it is safe to eat it for up to two months. It doesn't have as long a shelf life as store-bought peanut butter, nor does it have the preservatives in it that diminish the flavor. Voila. I hope you enjoy it.